Hello everybody! Oh, I can find what we're meant to be doing. Here we are. Welcome back to our next Pokemon episode. So, I almost forgot to save at the end of last episode. So, if we have a quick look at our team, we've got the Destroyer. Our homeboy, Respect. Maya, our Charizard. That's what we're going to get rid of Nightmare because he was a bit of a letdown. Generator and Eric. So we're going to swap out Nightmare. And as I'm recording this, I listen outside and it's raining. And I think, oh, thank God I don't have to run outside in the rain. One of the like strangest feelings, it's just, it's, it's not a nice feeling, is when you have a bald head and every cold raindrop slaps you on the head. Oh. For someone like me who hates being cold as well, the worst. Alright. So let's swap out Nightmare. Let's have a quick look at the Pokemon that we lost along the way. So we lost our homeboy Cerrone, our original Eric Ordino, and I forgot we lost Bondi. Oh, that one hurts. Okay, back in action, let's go. So I think, or I hope, okay, this is the gym leader. She doesn't want to fight us just yet. I can't remember what she wants us to do. Oh, hey, let me see your Pokedex. What do we have here? You found this many, you haven't seen this one. Still great Pokedex. Let's Juniper, blah, blah, blah. She's upgraded our Pokedex, excellent. Okay, now this is the gym leader, Skylar. Who is that trainer? She's telling us she's upgrading, blah de blah. Okay, so she's got a cargo plane. <clears throat> so that's Professor Juniper's mum. And Skylar is... She wants us to go to Celestial Tower, which is that way. Did we put King James on our team? Yes, we did. I got scared for a second. I thought we'll go and um, there's not enough team members. All right, new route. I want to test our acrobatic skills. Oh, and I fell. So our encounter for this route is, oh, a Gardevoir, not too bad. This is another Psychic type. In later games, it becomes a Fairy type, but not just yet. So I'm going to try our luck. Quick balls have a better chance of catching a Pokemon very early in the battle. But I do think she's going to break out. Or he. He's going to break out. Okay, no luck with the quick ball. Okay. We're going to follow up with... What's our level difference? Nine levels. I hope she can live. he can live a bullet punch. I, I, I always thought the Gardevoirs could only evolve from... Female Rolters. And... Um, the other one only evolved from males, but I was wrong. Okay. Let's go with a luxury ball. Let's try our luck. Come on, God of what? Join our team. I don't have a name yet for God of what? I don't know what we could name our God of what that would be like a really cool. Looks like she's only using heal poles, which if we were had any damage on us, would be healing us up. I hope that doesn't mean that she has no attacking moves. Mate. Cause here's our problem. She might he might live another bullet punch. But it's so close to halfway that he might not. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, 
Nope. Come on, mate. So, Wish as well, which is another healing move. So, two healing moves and Magical Leap. Doesn't look like she can do. he can do all that much damage to us. One. Oh, mate. I'm going to have to check our team to see who can do the tiniest bit of damage. Okay. You know what? Before we attack, let's have a quick look. Respect and Maya are too high level. Same with James. Generator and Eric are actual legendaries. The destroyer is the only one that isn't. I'm going to see if we do a home clause. It will make our attack do one and a half times damage. So as much as it did and half more. Which should hopefully get us to about three quarters damage. And if my maths is wrong and it does more than one and a half, I'm going to be pretty sad. Woo, that was scary. <clears throat> Oh, this is nerve-wracking, guys. Come on, stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. One, two, three. Oh, that lag. Oh, the lag made me think that we lost Carnivore. <laughs> Mate, to, to protect this trainer, it will expend, so give off all of its psychic power to create a small black hole. So, I think we're going to call this, I was going to say black hole, then I thought there's a great astronomer called Neil deGrasse Tyson, but we'll go with black hole. Okay, so we've got Black Hole, our Guard of White. We're not going to use it just yet. We might have a look at our team a bit later. I was, gonna, I was trying really hard to not have to fight this person. But it gives us a chance to see what kind of levels the trainers in this area have to see what levels our Pokemon need to be. Sending out an Emolgarp, a Shroomish, and a Clefable. They're all level 32. So our Pokemon should be about level 35. I think. Okay. Let's go with a big bullet punch. So Emolgarp can actually really hurt. Respect. So I'm going to swap Respect out because I'm a little bit nervous. An Emolga can't do much to Generator. We're going to bring Maya in. And Maya is going to land the biggest of Flamethrowers. I don't think Shroomish is that bad. So we'll take out Clefable. Come on. Getting my clapping hands ready. The lag makes this like really nerve wracking. <laughs> so we're sending out Generator. The destroyer used bullet punch on a Molga. Boom, boom, boom. It did the tiniest bit. <laughs> Maya's flamethrower on Clefable. Okay, much better than the bullet punch. Now he's using shockwave and he would have hit respect. So I'm very glad we took respect out because it did nothing to generator. Clefable's using double slap. Bop, bop. And Generator should be able to eat that up. They were trying to take out our boy respect. You know what that tells me? They've got no respect. 
because now we're using worry seed, which is changing our ability to insomnia, so we can't fall asleep. Luckily, we don't have any sleep moves. Okay. Let's go a big psychic on Imolga. <clears throat> I don't want to risk using a dragon, a uh, electric move in case it funnels itself into Imolga. You know what? He is also a flying type. So let's use our rock type move. And Maya should be able to finish off our Clefable. All right, let's go. Maya's flamethrower. Boom. So Maya takes out um, Clefable for us with the strongest of flamethrowers. And respect got a level thanks to Maya. Too good. Boom. Ancient power. Oh, and it absolutely took him out. See ya later, Imolga. And the destroyer's psychic did half damage. Now, Maya has the ability where, of insomnia. But it's not going to last very long because I'm pretty sure Maya's going to go first and take out this Shroomish with the strongest of flamethrowers. Boom. No respect for the shroomish. Okay. I don't want to fight this lady. So what else could we have caught? Oh. Do you remember the rules, guys? We get to throw one ball. Tornadus. Oh, mate. Oh, are you ready? I'm not even going to look. I'm not looking. I don't have any in-game music on. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to finish because there's super lag because my computer's really struggling. I'm a little bit nervous. And did we catch him? I didn't even use the ball. Oh my gosh, I didn't even use the ball. Oh, please, please, please. Another legendary on our team. No respect, Tornadus. No respect. Right, we're going to probably try and knock him out just so that we can get the uh, experience points. Mate, I was so excited. I thought 100% we we're going to catch him. And then I looked and I hadn't even thrown the ball. Boom. And the destroyer strikes again. I'm going to go out of my way to not fight these... Another one. Now, normally I wouldn't let myself throw another Pokeball, but I just thought it'd be hilarious if we catch this Tornadus on this Quick Ball. I'm going to call it DJ Khaled, hundred percent. Because what did we see? Another one. Nope. <laughs> he just said no, mate. But no one can take out the destroyer, so he's set for life. Let's go another strong psychic. So he boosted our attack for us, two stages, but he also confused us. So if we don't attack him this turn, I'm, I'm going to run. Yep. Boom, destroyer hurt himself. We're going to try to see how fast the destroyer's legs work to see if we can run away. We're out of there. 
Oh, and I tried my hardest to avoid these trainers, and this lady's like, no, nah, mate. We found you. She's using a pat rat. The destroyer. Okay. Let's go and earthquake. Excellent. Glalie, which is an ice type. I reckon we send in Maya. Because Maya is neutral because ice is strong against flying, but it's weak against fire. And Maya is fire flying type. So she's got two different types. But this flamethrower is going to do us well. Um, I, I was I can I pressed no by accident, but we're lucky because Snova is a is an ice and grass type, so it's double weak to fire. Snova, you're out of here. Well, she gave us an Asper Berry, which from memory heals um, for if you're frozen. Look, really, we're on the 20 minute mark, so I should be ending the episode now. But let's have a look to see if we can find our Celestial Cave Encounter. Because I'm pretty sure we can find a Pokemon in here. I'm going to be nice and extend this episode a little bit up. Oh. And our encounter is a Mareep, which is another electric type, which means we're probably not going to use it. Um, random story. When I did it, I played on my own. Um, I did uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun, and I found a shiny Mareep. Boom! Now, its fluffy coat swells to double when static electricity builds up. Touching it can be shocking. 100% an Andrew joke there. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. We got Andrew Almarie. So, we are on 20 minutes. We're going to stop this. <clears throat> we're going to stop this here. Um, next lesson, we're going to continue through. And we're going to finish off our Celestial Cave. While I remember, I'm going to save our game. Um, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.